Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to do another alternate card using elements from the Paper Pumpkin Kit from February 2023. So I've got some flowers and I've got the little froggy. I've got a greeting banner. I've got the back or the inside of one of the cards and I've got the front of another of the cards and I'm going to put them together and I'm going to mount them on a basic card base like that. And that way, when you open it up, you get a blank inside. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, actually going to stamp the greeting. I'm using the greeting from the kit. And the greeting is, you brighten my day. And I'm stamping it in balmy blue. And I'm just going to pop it down right in the middle of that one. There we go. So you brighten my day. And I think that's going to be one of my favorite um, stamps. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is flat mount this one down. And I've left them the same size as a card base. So the five and a half by four and a quarter. Because um, the paper in the kits is always a slightly grayer shade of white than the basic white. So I uh, don't want any of the basic white showing through essentially. So I'm gonna line that up really well, drop it down, there we go. So we've got that. Now I want to put the grass or a little grassy hill in behind this one. And I want a decent amount of the hill showing. So I'm going to have it in like that. I will have to trim this little bit of the end off. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put adhesive on here so that I can place this down where I want it like that. And there we go. So there I've got the hill. I just need to trim this little bit off like that and then I am going to flat mount this as well. I played with the idea of dimensionalizing it and I can actually maybe let's do that see change on the fly it's all good so we're going to need to put dimensionals all the way around the edge and then a couple of extra because we want to make sure that it's not kind of floppy so this will be overdimensionalized, but that is okay. So let's just pop some more in. So I don't think I've ever used this many dimensionals on a card before. But we'll just go ahead and peel them all off. And carry on. So I hope you're enjoying the alternates. Uh, everybody has so many different ideas. I'm always in awe of some of the ideas. I finish all my videos and then I see some of the alternates. I'm like, oh yeah. But I enjoy coming up with fresh ideas. So now this is going to be fun and a challenge to make sure that we get this lined up properly. And laid down correctly. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I've got a bit of sticky on here. Okay, so that is our card front. And then you open it up to the inside. So actually that looks really cool, just the way it is. So the You Brighten My Day is now going to be dimensionalized. It wasn't going to be, but it is now. So we're gonna pop that right up in the sky. like this. I'm going to pop it down. You brighten my day. And that's square. It's a little hard to tell because the lines are squiggly. Now, what I want to do is I want to put some flowers on this. So I am going to be careful with this. So these ones are going to go here like this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive just along the bottom there. And these ones are going to go 
right here like this. Now I've got a set of three that are going to go in behind it. They're going to sit just in here. So I need to lift this up a little bit. Yeah, see, now I've moved that off. Okay, so those are going to sit like that. So let's give that a really good squish down. Okay, so what I need to do is just put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of each of those. That's how I end up with adhesive on my mat. So we're just going to put, just tuck those in like that, okay? And then we're going to put some at the front here, just tucked in like this. So I'm going to take those out, put a little bit of adhesive on them. And lift that up a bit so I can tuck these underneath. And we're going to put them just like that. Sorry, sometimes it can take a little bit to place them. And then we've got the little froggy who's going to sit on the edge like that. Just there. So I am going to flat mount him as well. Just like that. Should I tuck him inside? Maybe I'll tuck him inside like that. There we go. So there we have another card using elements from the Paper Pumpkin Kit called Sunshine and Smiles. And really all of the elements in here, except the um, balmy blue ink and the basic white card base are from the kit. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more ideas.